Uh, so this video is about how you can go out to dinner uh, for half off or free, okay? At least half off anyway, it depends on how smart you are. Um, the way to do it is this. You run and start a home-based business right now. There are so many home-based business out there that cost nothing to start, even free. If you, if you don't know how, you can email me at farm Alan, P H A M as in Michael, A L A N as in Nancy, at gmail.com. Farm Alan at gmail.com, and I will teach you how to start a home based business for free, okay? Cost you literally zero dollar. Um, and so, when you start that, and you are uh, a business person now, and you go and try to make a profit every day, when you do that, then the things that you do that are like personally costly to you, but then if you convert it into a business expense, then you get to tax deduct that expense, okay? And hence, therefore, it's free for you, right? Let's say you go out to dinner, you have a date, right? Uh, let's say you invite a girl or a guy out to dinner. Nowadays, uh, uh, you, you go Dutch, right? So you invite her out, and then you uh, you before going there, you maybe texting her and or calling her and tell, her, hey, I have some business I wanna run by you or something like that. So before before going to that appointment or date, you already set the tone that hey, I have some business, and she asks what kind of business. You know, just ignore that. Just say uh, some business I need to run by you, and then we'll have fun. Uh, on a date, uh, you know, doing mini golf course or uh, going to mo movies or go to theaters, show, seeing some kind of play on stage or something. So, and then when you get there, talk business. Ask her to join you or him to join you. Or, <coughs> or if he or she is already in a business, then talk about her business. Like if, if he or she sell houses or cars or something, then ask, hey, how's business? And then she, you and her ex exchange about you know the business world, and therefore you talk business, and the dinner therefore is tax deductible. Okay, and here's a, here's a good thing for dinner that's costing more than seventy five dollars seven five zero zero seventy five dollars. Then you must keep a receipt to tax deducted. Okay, because when when the IRS uh, audit you, say hey you deduct a lot of dinners. Uh, and uh, some of them are over seventy-five dollars. Uh, where are the receipts? Then you must produce them. If you don't, then the dinner is not allowed to be tax deducted. But if the dinner is say uh, seventy-four ninety-nine, you don't need to keep a receipt. You just go home, log it on your log page, or book, or journal, business journal. Say today I went out with Melissa. We went to the movies, three uh, D movies. Uh, about uh, American snipers, and then we go out to de eat afterward, and then we go to the bars. Total cost, you know, of the night is two hundred dollar. That, my friend, two hundred dollar is funded. Half of that, which is a hundred dollar, is funded by the government. Meaning, like they pay for you to go out and have fun uh, on a date. Isn't that great? Isn't that a, a, a neat trick to learn how to do and enjoy your life more, right? Even the even the mileage that you drive to the dates and back and forth, because it is uh, setting as a business uh, association, like you you associate your event with the business. That's why the IRS call it associated entertainment expense. It used to be called meals and entertainment back in the 80s, 90s, or 2000. You know, meals and entertainment. But nowadays it's called legally it's called associated entertainment uh, expense. So anything you do. It's fifty percent, meaning the IRS will reimburse you uh, for that uh, uh, cost. So there you are, my friends. Get it free or get half off. Okay, get it free, easy. You order dinner and you go home and eat in your office, quote unquote. But what the heck, man? Who's gonna eat in the office? They go home, they have a living room. They're gonna eat in the living room and be romantic. You know how's the IRS gonna be able to check? that you did not eat in your office or what. Because when you have an office and you eat there, 
all your lunches, dinners, or breakfast, whatever you order in to eat at your office is 100% tax deductible, okay? So let's say if you go buy a very expensive dinner for $50 delivered to you, or you go out and pick it up, whatever. But if you eat it at home in your office, home-based office, then it's 100% uh, taken care of by the IRS or by the federal government. Thank you, Congress. You should thank you, Congress. That is a neat trick, isn't it? So therefore, my friend, if you don't have a business, you're not being too smart financially, okay? Therefore, go and run and start a business. So that way, you can eat out all the time and tax deduct all the expenses or half of it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.